A man suspected of brutally murdering a Bakersfield woman nearly four decades ago in court today as witnesses were called to the stand. The preliminary hearing for Prentice Foreman kicked off today and 23 ABC's Brandon Johansson was in the courtroom all day long. He joins us now live with more. Brandon. Hey guys, it's been 39 years since 18 year old Don Coons was uh, found dead and Prentice Foreman was arrested for her murder back in December of 2017. Again, almost four decades later. Now Foreman's preliminary hearing began today and the prosecution was focused on talking to BPD officers who have had their hands on this case over the last nearly 40 years now. And there were a total of six witnesses called to the stand today with five of them current or former BPD officers or detectives. Don Coons was found dead in the bathtub of her South Rio Road apartment in January of 1979. She was found nude with her hands tied and cord wrapped around her neck. The BPD officer who originally found Coons took the stand today, as well as other officers who have worked on the case. And while the prosecution focused on BPD's reports, the defense's main argument was that this happened almost 40 years ago now. They routinely jumped in to question whether or not these witnesses would even have a good recollection of what actually happened. Foreman lived next door to Coons when she was killed. He's being held on one count of first degree murder with two special circumstances, murder committed during rape and murder committed during burglary. Now again, this is only the preliminary hearing, so the prosecution is just trying to present enough evidence to get this to a trial in the first place. We're expecting to hear more on that coming up tomorrow when the prosecution is expected to bring witnesses who can talk on the DNA evidence. For now in downtown Bakersfield, Brandon Johansson, 23 ABC News.